Hi, my name is Matana Vital, a senior solutions engineer in Kemineo, and today I'm going to review the Kemineo Clarity platform. Kemineo Clarity is a cloud-based predictive analytics platform that includes a comprehensive set of management and monitoring functionalities, including a unique capability to leverage application-level intelligence, machine learning, and big data analytics. Clarity's big data platform analyzes over 150 million call home data points from K2s around the world each day to drive predictive alerting. Clarity's main capabilities are providing a single dashboard for multi-system cloud-based monitoring and management, automated support case management, SLA management through a unique ability to create, monitor, and get alerts from service groups, more on that later, and an advanced analytics engine that provides recommendations on preemptive resource optimization to enable a whole new approach of managing business and application SLAs. As you'll see through our demonstration, Clarity is tightly integrated with the Kemineo support management process, including automated creation, updating, and closure of support tickets based on alerts sent through the support workflow. Here's a quick snapshot of the Clarity and support workflow incorporating preemptive alerts, automatic case creation, and round-the-clock Kemineo support involvement. The first thing we see when we log in through a secure cloud-based portal is the Clarity dashboard. The dashboard is the single view of the most important metrics for all monitored K2 systems across any number of sites. In this example, we see K2 sites spread across US and EMEA. At a quick glance, we can see the general health state of each K2 average performance over the last 60 minutes, capacity usage and data reduction stats, and an indication if there is a software upgrade available. The left pane allows us to change the view dynamically by clicking on a site name or by selecting a single K2 to open the detailed dashboard. Let's review the detailed dashboard. The detailed dashboard reveals more critical and relevant information, such as the physical configuration of the K2 array, status of active support cases for the array, a summary of all the events logged in the system, capacity trend over the last three months, capacity usage forecast, data protection and replication stats, high-level performance trends over the last three months, and a link to the K2 Classic Management GUI. Moving on to the Performance tab, we have a detailed smart table on the left and the corresponding performance charts on the right. Clarity enables extremely robust reporting through a variety of customizable views. We can select the range of time we want to review using the time selector on the upper right of the screen. Clicking on it gives us the option to select from a predefined time range or select a custom time range. Once the time range is selected, it can be shifted forward and backwards by the selected time range, so if we click on the left arrow, we'll see a week's back details. In order to improve usability and efficiency, all of Clarity's detailed reporting options include sorting data by any column, ascending or descending, selecting which columns to show and which columns to hide, reordering of table columns, showing only selected objects for better efficiency and easily focusing on the required datasets, quickly collapsing or expanding all records, flattening the table by ungrouping or removing the volume groups level and viewing volumes as a list, and using text filters to narrow down results. Just as we see in the K2 management GUI, performance can be filtered by read and write operations and by block size. As a reminder, Kemenel's unique architecture uses a truly adaptive block size algorithm to dynamically adapt to the incoming block size for maximum efficiency and performance. When hovering over the charts, a small window appears showing the block size distribution and read-write ratio. Selecting a time range from the charts zooms in to the selected time range, updating the data in the table, of course. We can also show or hide data by clicking its label from the legend in the chart. In addition, below the performance charts, we can see the K2 events chart, which shows K2 events in correlation with performance. Having this correlation can be extremely useful when trying to analyze abnormal behaviors or conducting a root cause analysis exercise. 
An RCA can be conducted from both Clarity or the K2 GUI. However, Clarity provides a higher level view while isolating administrative functions that are limited to users that have access to the K2 GUI. All the resultant performance data can be exported via the export button. Export is available for the performance table in an Excel format or a CSV format, and charts data is available in CSV format. Moving on to the capacity report, we can see a lot of similarity to the performance report. As we described on the performance reporting tab, on the left side, a host of sort options are available to simplify reporting and provide customization. On the right side of the screen, we can see the general K2 capacity details regardless to which items are selected in the table. Similar to the performance report, hovering above the charts reveals greater details, selecting a range of time zooms into the selected time frame, and the K2 events are presented in correlation at the bottom of the screen. Like in the performance report, once the required data has been discovered, it can be exported to various formats. The events report is unique in the sense that it allows reviewing events aggregated for multiple K2s at the same time. As described earlier, we can sort the table, select which columns to show, and reorder columns. In addition to the standard features, the events table can be grouped by dragging a column and dropping it at a dedicated place. Grouping can be done multiple times, giving us a hierarchy when browsing and reviewing events. Also in the events report, we have a quick search bar, allowing us to search for anything we want in the table. If we are looking for some specific term in a specific column, we can use the filter available in each column like in any other table in Clarity. Clarity's advanced analytics incorporate a host of predictive alerting and resource optimization capability, including the proactive capacity planning report. This report leverages machine learning algorithms that continuously measure historical capacity utilization for predicting and reporting on future expected trends. The line in the middle represents utilization today based on the current state of the K2. To the left of it, we see historical capacity usage, and to the right of it, we see a prediction for future capacity usage. Like in any other report, we can change the time range the report is based on. The algorithms running on a cloud-hosted big data platform facilitate major impact on predictive capability as the time range changes. As you can see with the current example, looking at the last 90 days, capacity usage trend is decreasing. But if we change the time range and the historical period to the last six months, we get a different result, indicating that the K2 is going to be 100% full in about a year. Another option for the capacity planning report is to change the estimation type from trend to duplication. In this mode, the selected historical period is copied and projected into the estimation period, assuming that capacity changes are repeated in more or less the same pattern. Once again, changing the selected historical period has an impact on the estimation. Now, let's explore a new functionality of Clarity, introduced late last year, called Intelligent Service Groups. A service group is a flexible logical entity that is defined in Clarity as an aggregate set of volume groups. The idea behind Intelligent Service Groups is to provide a closer mapping from storage quality of service to business SLAs. To create a new Intelligent Service Group, click the Create your first group button to open the new group wizard. In this example, we'll create a new service group representing the DBA team in an organization. We start by giving the group a meaningful name. Then we select the relevant volume groups for that service group. Notice that while selecting volume groups, the SLA values are getting updated. Last, we define the SLAs we want for allocated and provisioned capacity and the performance SLAs for bandwidth, IOPS, and latency. Using service groups enables the sysadmin to monitor performance and capacity by logical groups based on organization needs and not on storage configuration. Looking at the service group we've just created, we can see that the actual provisioned capacity exceeds the SLA, so it is highlighted in orange with a warning sign next to it. Clicking on that exceeded SLA redirects us to the relevant report, in this case, the capacity report, and applies a filter based on the service group. From this point, investigating the root cause for the exceeded SLA should be much simpler. For more information, please visit Thanks for watching!